Hi, welcome or welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time seeing my hands, hi, I'm Erin of Planning Life with Erin and I'm so excited you stopped by to check out this video. Thank you for being here. And if you're returning, hey, hey, how have you been? All right, guys, I have a grabby box here and this is for a spooky season. This is their October box and I'm very excited to open this and share it with you guys. I've had it for a little bit and it's been sitting on my desk, but it just didn't feel right. Like I just wanted to enjoy the unofficial beginnings of fall but now that we're towards the end of September I am starting to feel the unofficial spooky vibes coming in so I thought it was a perfect time for me to open this and share it with you guys I'm really excited I as most of the time like I try to do I avoid all unboxings and things because I like to have um, a genuine experience and um, unboxing um experience. I just said experience twice. I don't know. It's been a long week and it's only Wednesday. So we're going to open this. I have no idea what's in here. I, I might have seen one one peek of something, but it was a while ago and I'm a mom of two kids. So I forget things like five seconds after it happens. But okay. I'm really excited. I will have all of the information for the grabby box down in the description below. Um, so you could check it out. I will have links and things. And I have to say, I think this is like my I don't know, my fourth box, maybe my fifth. I love, I love the grabby boxes. They're very generous and everything you need to do scrapbooking, planning, anything is in here, all the crafts. And I find it to be really nice because I don't have to go to um, Michael's or, I mean, not that that's a problem, but I don't have to go to the craft store and buy like a massive amount of something because I want to, um, I don't know. I want to do something. Like I have a project I want to work on. I find that with my grabby boxes, I have everything I need so I can just start creating. I don't have to think about it. I don't have to worry about it. It's all right there and it coordinates nicely. And um, okay, let's dive in. All right. Let me know down in the comments below if you have ordered a grabby box and what your thoughts are on them. I would love to hear from you. Um, Oh, I'm so excited. This box is so cute. I'm going to use this as a decoration, I think, because why not? Okay, well, let's see. Ooh, how awesome is that? It says trick or treat on the inside, and then there's a witch and some ghosts and a cauldron. Ooh, I love it. I love it. And oh, this tissue paper, oh my gosh. So I save almost all of the tissue paper that I've gotten from Grabby. I think one of my favorites is... um. I want to say it was like the July box, maybe, or maybe it was the June box. I don't remember, but it was like this really pretty, like French type purple and just, it was so pretty. So this is definitely going to be another one I save. I love this. I can just already see like different things that I can do. Very spooktacular. Ha ha ha. See what I did there? Oh my gosh, guys. I am so excited right now. Okay. I'm also working at my dining room table. That's why things look different. Spencer's back at school today, but um, in all honesty, I'm really enjoying working in the natural light, and I like the background of my dining room table. I like how weathered it looks. It's a 10, almost 11-year-old table that's weathered through two children, <laughs> and I like it. So this might be the new filming spot for a little while anyways. I do enjoy my desk, but I don't have natural light over there. There's a wall that blocks me. Um, so yeah, this is nice. In case you're wondering, Erin, why is it different? Is Spencer still homesick? No, she's not. We watched She-Ra for the 100th time because when Spencer's sick, she enjoys watching She-Ra. So we did a lot of that this week, but she is feeling a bit better. She did try to stay home again today, but I was like, nope, girlfriend, you are going back to school. So here we are. Okay. So back to the grabby box, right? That's why we're here. Okay. So we've got this um, you get like a little pamphlet and then it'll tell you everything that is in the box. And I love their slogan, may the art be with you. I love that. I think it's so cute. Um, so you have this and then it'll give you the list of everything that's in the box. So we'll put that off to the side because I might have to reference it. Okay. Ooh, where do we want to start? I don't even know where I want to start. All right. Let's start here. This is happy Halloween clear photo polymer stamps. Ooh. Okay. So if you've been on my other videos, I am not a stamper, but I never say never. So I've been kind of trying things out here and there. I do have a box of stamps. I actually think I used a crabby box to store them. So we've got the stamper. 
And, ooh, okay. These are cute. Maybe we'll do some stamping today. You never know. All right, so what do we have here? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine stamps. And it looks like there's like a cauldron and a vase and we've got like a witch's finger and some eyeballs and I don't know what that is but this is really cute and then they give you the stamper so you can stick everything on there and you can use it for your stamping which is great okay so there are the stamps and then oh if you collect all of these puzzle pieces and put it together I do have like two or three of them now I think I have to look for them I have them in I actually bought um like a tackle box basically from Amazon. It was fairly inexpensive and that's where I've been storing most of my grabby things because even though these boxes are fantastic, I just don't have the space to store all the boxes. So I've been putting my puzzle pieces in there and I have to put them together. But I think this is like the third or so that I have. But once you put it all together, I think you get like a free gift or something. So definitely hold on to your puzzle pieces. Okay, and let's do, these are stencils. Let's open these and see what is in this one. What kind of stencils we've got going on. I really enjoy the grabby boxes too because I feel like they kind of take me outside my comfort zone. Like maybe I wouldn't buy stencils if I was at uh, Michael's or something. Um, and I feel like it gives me a chance to kind of sample and try things like stamps and stencils and, and things like that. So I really enjoy the taking me out of my comfort zone aspect of grabby. Ooh, these are nice. These are a bunch of these. We've got some bats, witch, which is hats. Oh, some ghosts. Those are so cute. Um, cats, my favorite. We used to have a black cat. I highly suggest it. They are extremely lucky. <laughs> pumpkin heads, some pumpkins. Ooh, that's neat. This is like a frame. Ooh, I like that. I have some fun with that one. That's cool. More pumpkins and then just some abstract designs. Stars, more abstract. Ooh, a cemetery or a cemetery scene. That's cool too. I could probably have some fun with that. I've got a witch's hat that says trick or treat. Um, I don't know what that's supposed to be, but an abstract like probably it's just a cool design. I don't know what I would call that. And then a spider web, which, oh, that is really cool. Okay. So these are really cool. I could see myself using these. Now see, and like I said, that's the thing. I could see myself using these. And now that I have them, I can put myself outside of my comfort zone and I can try them out um, where I might overlook them at Michael's, if that makes sense. Okay, it wouldn't be my first choice at, if I was out at a store. So I really think it's kind of cool that I have the opportunity to try these things in different um, mediums and all the things. Ooh, all right, so we've got, oops, we've got a bunch of stamps here. And then, all right, so here's a stamper. I have never used one of these before. I guess you could take these off and then it gives you another one. I don't think there's more than two in here, but we've got six different colors. We've got a bluish, like a deep blue purple color, a lighter purple, red, all the Halloween colors. We've got green and some orange. And of course, black. And then, like I said, it comes with two of these stampers, stamp heads, stampers. So, oh wow, I just stick it on there. It's just Velcro. Okay, see, you learn something new every day. I think maybe you use this for distress stamping. stamping. I can't even talk today. That's what happens when you've been home with a child sick for two days. And also, um, I got a tetanus shot yesterday at the doctor's and I have an infection on my leg, but that's fine, that's fine. We're doing great over here, guys. <laughs> I love the envelopes. They package things so cute and then you can repurpose all the things. So like you could create a scrapbooking spread of some sort and you could use this to hold some Halloween memorabilia. Maybe you go to like a haunted, like, I don't know, hayride or a pumpkin patch or anything like that. And you can create an entire spread. And I really like how these envelopes are just, they're already made and you can just use them to, you can paste them in and then you can put all your memor memorabilia in there. So I really love that. I feel like it's a bonus. And this one has a vampire on it. And these are, <gasps> wow, those are so pretty. Okay. So these are stickers, I think. They seem like stickers. 
Um, oh, these are gorgeous. They're just different frames. Looks like we get two of each. Oh, wow. These are beautiful. I just love these colors. <sighs> okay, these, these are my favorites. Oh my goodness. I love that pop of gold with the dark. That is so, so pretty. All right, I can see myself. The wheels are turning. We'll create something today, I think. Okay, and then in this one we have, this is cute too. It's the same as the inside of the box with the Witch's Cauldron. And oh, these are beautiful. I hope that's coming up on camera. They have like this gold foil to them. These are gorgeous. Oh my goodness. So pretty. Oh, I am very excited to start creating Halloween and fall, more fall things. Because this is kind of like fall-like, but I really love that. So again, you get two of each. Ooh, so pretty. And now we get into the little, oh my gosh, hold on, sorry. I just skipped ahead because I saw some spooky mushrooms. Um, you get like a little spookier. And guys, oh, I am 100% obsessed with this right now. It's a spooky mushroom. Oh my gosh, you get two of those and then, oh, stop it. Oh my gosh, sorry. Let me know, do you get excited over stickers? Because I just, I do, I do. And I'm not gonna apologize for it, even though I just did, but <laughs> these are so cute. Very excited to use these. These are beautiful. I love that. Okay, I'll put these back in the envelope. I've been trying to get better about actually, like not just throwing them all back into the box and just putting them back the way that they're supposed to go. Okay, this says happy hauntings on it. And then of course you get your grabby sticker. And this, let's see what's in this one. Does this come off? Okay. Oh, I like that. That's cool. And they're like um, on, not like vellum, because it's not as thin as vellum, but they're, these are see-through. Oh, okay. These are labels. Oh, I love that. A ghost. Oh, they're like tags, labels. You can use them in your junk journaling and your planner spreads. Oh, so cute. Oh, I like that. These are cute. Perfect for, it's like I said, everything you need to create a cool Halloween spread. That's so neat. All right. So these are just uh, cardstock, I think. I don't think they're stickers. Are they stickers? Maybe. <gasps> They are awesome. It's always like a surprise to me. I'm like, wait, are, is this a sticker? <laughs> so these are stickers, but these are nice. They are like on a, almost like a cardstock material. So pretty, so cute, very festive. All right, what's in this one? Let's see. Oh, these are pretty. I love these. These are so pretty. I love all of these. These and the last few that we opened. These colors are beautiful with the flowers and the purple, the pink. Got some owls, witches' hats, black cat, <laughs> and a chair, and a crow. Ooh, a raven. Mm -hmm. So pretty. Okay. And then what's in this one? Monster Mash, it says. Let's see. Now I'm gonna be singing that song all day in my head. It's okay. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Oh, wow. Very excited right now. So we've got some just black um, line drawn pumpkins and white, and then we've got candle broomsticks. Ooh, I don't wanna drop them. What else do we have in here? Oh, a ghost. Am I like in frame? Sorry guys, if I'm not. And I really hope this is coming up on camera. These are a little, these are see-through, so they might be a little bit harder to show. But maybe if we do it like that, we can see it a little bit better. We've got mushrooms, some witches' boots. What else do we have? A spider web, candy, ghosts. Oh, these are so neat, jack-o'-lanterns. Oh, I love these. Um, these would work really well. I think the white ones, oh, maybe, do I have some on blackout paper? My thoughts, my ideas are running through my head now. Hmm. 
I'm trying to remember if I have any blackout paper because that would be awesome. I think maybe I do from my last grabby box, actually. We might have to pause the video and see if I can find that because I think that would look really cool. Such a fright. Let's see what's in this one. Oh, okay. So I think these are also stickers, maybe. I don't know. We got to check everything, right? These are not stickers. These are not, are they? No, these are not stickers. So these are like little card stocks. You can make little scenes like pop out, um, pop out scenes, things like that. Oh, I love that. Okay. And there's houses. I should take more out, huh? This is, is a lot in here. So we've got, oh, you can make like a cemetery. You have some fences. This looks like a scary tree. Oh, I like it. Okay. And then what else? We've got a magic diary, desk pad, notepad. Oh, wow. I can keep this out at my desk and then my desk will be extra spooky for spooky season. I love it. So I can open this. Oh, they're all different. Okay, so you have, and you can use these in your scrapbooking also, but I probably will just keep it out on my desk and use it as a notepad. So we've got, looks like three of each. Ghost. Oh, that one's so cute. Oh, I like that one too. These were all the different designs. So it's like three of each. That one's neat too. This is going to look so cute on my desk. And again, you can use it in your scrapbooking and all that stuff too. But just having it on my desk as a notepad or a to-do list because I have lists everywhere. I love that. Okay. And then we've got, ooh, let's get spooky. A daily planner. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited right now. This is a desktop planner. So you have your remember. You can write your date in here. Um, top priorities, today's thoughts, exercise, notes and inspiration, have you eaten fruits and vegetables, and what your water is. Oh, I like that. Also, a great addition. Oh, and they're all different. Okay. So you've got half the pad is with this black and the ghost and the bats. And then, it seems about halfway. And then you have this version. Oh, so exciting. This with this on my desk and a couple of accessories. We're going to be spooktacular. How many times am I going to say spooktacular in this video? I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, that's right. Ooh, what else is in here? Okay, we're jumping, we're jumping ahead. These envelopes are fantastic. I keep these like filed in my, um, my cart. Um, I tend to sometimes the smaller pieces, things that I'm not going to put in that tackle box that I told you guys about, um, I'll put it in here, especially like the paper and things like that. And I have it like um, filed nicely in my cart. Okay. Ooh. So I don't think I'm going to open this because I don't want the papers to go everywhere. But like, okay, we'll pull one out. Let me see if there's anything darker than that one. We've got like a nice spooky cemetery. And then, yeah, this one's cool. I might just open it. Ooh, that's cool. So this is a scrap paper. And, all right, we'll open it. Got the cemetery. <gasps> that's so spooky. It's like a dark road. Ooh, kind of gives me chills. Pretty. It looks so pretty. Um, make a scene, like paste this into a book and then make a scene. I think I want to use this one because I want to I have an idea. So we're going to pull that one out. These are so pretty. Oh, that looks like Norman Bates' house. <laughs> a cemetery. Oh my goodness. I love these. That's pretty also. Let's pull this one out as well. Maybe we can get creative with that. Nice orange one. Ooh. I don't know about you guys, but I am definitely getting excited for spooky season. It is probably my favorite. I just absolutely love it. Um, if you've been around, you already know that I love to watch scary movies. I watch them year round, but it just makes them extra awesome when it's spooky season. And then we go right into Christmas movies. So it's fun like that in my house. Ooh, these are little pieces of vellum. The cat. Oh my goodness. These are so cute. I love black cats. P.S. So pretty. 
and then we repeat the pattern. Oh, and then we repeat the pattern, but this is just scrapbooking paper. Oh, so excited for these. Cute. Okay. What else is in here? Halloween party paper collection. Okay, so more scrapbooking paper. Ooh, this is like, oh, hold on. We gotta open this. This is like got a nice glossy finish to it. I don't know if you guys can see. Yeah, right there. See that? It's like glossy. Ooh, I like these patterns. And they all seem to have this gloss to them. It's pretty. <gasps> Love that. So generous. Ooh, I like that one. Boop. <laughs> That's nice too. So many different patterns. Wow. Okay. All right. Um, I think that is all for the paper in here. What else is in here? Ooh, I love these things. Like little windows. And then you can put something inside the window on your paper. Oh my gosh. So pretty. You get two of each, it looks like. Love these colors. These colors are absolutely beautiful. Okay. I think I'm going to leave these out also because uh, the wheels are turning. We'll see how long this video is, but maybe we'll sit and we will create something. Okay. And there is more. Oh, what is this? Build your own haunted house. Oh my gosh. Seriously? How cool is that? Build your own haunted house. That's so neat. What is that? Oh, it's the broom that fell out from before. I knew something fell. These are so cool. I think I'm going to... <laughs> I think this will be something the kids would enjoy doing. Cut and then fold. Start cutting and then you fold it where the dotted lines are. Okay, so the solid lines is where you cut and then the folds are where the dotted lines are. Ooh, I wonder, does it all go together? That's so cool. All right, I'll have to update you guys on this because this is something my kids probably would like to do. Okay. So let's put some of this stuff back in the box. Um, I'm gonna keep these out and these we'll put back in for now. Okay. Ooh, I'm so excited. All right, how do I want to do this? Um, let's try. Oh, I just dropped some supplies. That's the joy of working not at my desk. I have a lot of space here, but also um, I'm knocking things over. All right, I think I'm gonna pause for a second and I'm going to grab my creative journal and let's create something because we definitely have some time to do that. Okay, I am back. Pulled out my um, Happy Planner creative journal and we're gonna play around a little bit. So as I mentioned earlier, I am not a stamper, but I was thinking of somehow stamping this on here. and then doing something behind it. So we're gonna try it. I've seen some people do it before. So I'm like, oh, how hard could it be? And then if I'm being completely honest, I was like, well, maybe we'll just stick with something I know. But what's the fun of that, right? Get these boxes and sometimes there's things in there that are not familiar and that's okay. All right, I think that should be okay. Maybe I'll just hold this down with this piece here. Okay. Now, I was thinking orange and then maybe some black. I don't know. Let's see. I'll put you guys in a little bit. Don't poke fun. If you have any constructive criticism, please um, let me know because I really have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just kind of going, going with my gut and we're just going to see what happens. I'm not sure how it's going to come out. But we shall try. And I'm trying to decide if I want to do like another color in here or if I just want to keep it traditionally orange. And I think this would be like a nice like opening page to the spooky section of the journal, which I, if I'm being completely honest, I have not been in this journal in a while. 
Just had a lot going on with the beginning of school and we're all just kind of getting back into the groove. And I think it feels very strange for us because it almost feels as if last year didn't end because summer just went so quickly. So definitely trying to get back in the swing of things and we've had sick kids and all the things. So, ooh, okay, I like this. This is nice, actually. I wonder if Spencer, Spencer would probably enjoy doing something like this also. I kind of just want to fade this. I don't need it to be like super dark. Kind of do like an ombre into the center. Oh, this is cool. Nice afternoon to sit and get a little creative. Especially because, like I said, I have not been in my creative journal in a very long time. So, ooh, okay, all right. And then I think I have to wash this. Let me know. But I'm pretty certain I wash it and then I guess let it dry. All right, let's see how this looks. Ah, okay, I like it. And then I'll wash the stencil also. We'll just put it off to the side for now. <gasps> that's so cute. Okay, I got a little bit on the sides, but that's all right. I think, I think that's okay. I like that. All right, I probably got some ink on my face, but that's all right. <laughs> I wanted to look at these a little bit and see if we want to use a banner of some sort. I was gonna use the orange one, but I don't know if that's too much orange. Hmm, I do have a white pen, so I could, ooh, that might work. No, oh, it needs to be on this side. Ooh, the skull and, let's see. What's this one? Oh, this one's actually probably quite perfect. Maybe we can do, let's see, this one? Kind of like that one. This one seems too small. And this one's too orange. <laughs> All right, um, let's go with this one. Let's try it. And these we said were stickers, so. Guys, I've gotten so much better about peeling back my stickers. I'm so proud of myself. Okay. Glasses, I need glasses. In order to put things down straight, I need my cheaters. I've been noticing that I do need them a little bit more now. I think it's because my doctor adjusted my prescription. Is that straight? I think it is. That came up pretty nicely. Good to know. Okay, I like that. And then do we want to use one down here just because? Maybe we can put like spooky season and then the year down here that you guys can't see because i can't keep you in frame Ugh, okay <laughs> i got this guys i got this okay maybe we'll wait on this one i do like that i'm gonna wait for this to dry a little bit but i'm actually like really excited about the stamping that i just did so i'm wondering if i want to do a little bit more i've got some bats ghosts cats let's see it's kind of cool abstract there's some more pumpkins in here maybe we'll do some pumpkins oh hmm that's cool i have an idea all right i have stencils that are attaching themselves to each other all right let's see if my brain what do i do first do i do the face first and then put this over it? No. I do the pumpkin first. I'm getting there. And I don't think I'm going to do all of them, but I'm going to do a couple. Where do we want to place them? Maybe we put one up here in the corner. And then we'll do an orange pumpkin and a black face. This is fun. Do one here, and then we'll do um, kind of like this guy. We'll do one down here. I might have to rethink the papers that I pulled out. 
We'll ease ourselves into spooky season. With some jack-o'-lanterns. I was actually looking at, there is an apple festival in Mystic, which is probably about an hour or so away from where I am. Um, so it's not too bad. And um, they're doing like a day-long type apple fest. And I think I wrote it down on my calendar. It's in the beginning of October. I was saying to Joe, I was like, I'm so excited to start doing some like fall things. Going to the farm. And then a lot of the farms around here will do like haunted hay rides and stuff. So we're wondering like if the kids are like old enough for that yet. Because my kids are very sensitive to that stuff. So we might try it this year. We'll see. That's so pretty. And then we'll do another one down here. I actually like this guy. I wonder how long this takes to dry. I guess I will find out. Can you guys see what I'm doing? Yes. Okay. So I'm excited for all the fall things. It's kind of like, I'm in this like weird holding cell. It's like September, so it's not quite fall. I mean, it's unofficially fall in my house. And, but like there's pumpkins out now and there's mums and I'm like, well, I can't get pumpkins now. Cause if I get pumpkins now, <laughs> especially if we carve them, um, that's not, they're not gonna make it <laughs> to Halloween. So, hard to resist. I did see some really cool white pumpkins at Walmart last week and I'm like, hmm, I might need to look into those. Okay, if there's any left because, you know, people are just buying them already and I'm like, hmm, I don't know where you live, but I can't have pumpkins. Squirrels around here will eat them. Okay, so let's do, I don't know if this is dry enough yet. I wanted to do the the black faces, but let's see if we can use a sticker or something fun in the center. I do like these mushrooms. What about, that's pretty. If we did something like that. It's not really spooky enough, maybe. This one's a good one. Ooh, I like that. Maybe we'll do that one. I'm like, I know I always say use the sticker, but I don't know if I want to use the mushroom one in this spread. Well, that is pretty. This one is so cool. Let's see. All right. I have to decide between the two. I think this one. We're going to go with that one. While we're waiting for that to dry. I'm pretty certain these are stickers. What did I just say about getting better at peeling my stickers? I think I lied. Let's see, maybe it's not a sticker. Only one way to find out. I do think it is though. It is, it's really thin, which is nice because they just like go right into, they're like PET stickers. And they just melt right into the page. Ooh, so pretty, okay. And I think, I think that's dry enough. I mean, I don't know. I, I don't have patience. <laughs> we can put this guy like that and we'll do black for that. Joe's gonna be like, why are you going to the store? I'm like, um, because I need more of these things to stamp because this is fun like I said this is my first time ever doing something like this so but it's a lot of fun okay I squealed <laughs> that's so cute okay let's do kind of like this guy he's like oh trying to go for like less really scary and just like kind of fun scary That's cute. And then we've got, how about like a, that's kind of like a scary one. This one's kind of like, ha, ha, ha. Maybe we can put him on this one. He's like a smirking, scary pumpkin. So let me know down in the comments. Do you have a favorite scary movie? Like, are you into scary movies? What do you like to watch during spooky season? Or is it just like not your thing? 
my favorites is probably the Michael Myers, the Halloween movies. I like those. And they never get old. <clears throat> Maybe to Joe they do, but not to me. <laughs> that one's too big. I feel like this is the only one that really goes on this pumpkin. So one spooky one. I don't feel like he's on there straight though. It's really cool too because I can see right through the stencil so I can center it pretty good on the pumpkin. That's so neat. Ah, I love that. Looks like I have some cleaning up to do though. <clears throat> That's so cool. All right, now we could probably do, let's see. What else do we have that we can play with? Got these pumpkins. I have something else I wanted to do with those. So let's try these labels again. Maybe we can do. Hmm. Well, this one's not bad. Maybe we can just kind of stick it right there. Hmm. That doesn't look like it goes really well there. Maybe we can just use. No, I don't like that either. <laughs> That's too big. No, I don't think we're gonna use another one of those. I do want to get my white. How are we doing with that? Let's write, <clears throat> um, let's see, spooky, spooky? We'll do spooky season. Spooky. I love that. So this is, what is this? Oh my gosh. This is a Uniball. No, yeah, Uniball Signal. It's in white. Highly recommend these pens. I think they're great. They're super juicy and they work really well on like blackout paper. They work really well as like a whiteout. So if you're writing on white paper and you just want to white something out and you don't want to use like correction tape, I highly recommend one of these. Okay. I did want to see what we can use. So we've got white pumpkins and like, so there are some of them, whoops, some of them are black and then some of them are white. So let's see if we have, I think the black would look best on the orange. So let's see what else we have. We have some spider webs, pumpkins, witch's hat. Oh, I kind of like that. That's kind of cool. Maybe we'll keep that one out. Ooh, scary candy apple. Dropping things. We could use one of these guys. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's a spoo. Candy. What else do we have? And then I think maybe we'll use the spider webs here. Just kind of place them around the page just to fill in a little bit of the white. And we have a witch's hat here. Maybe can we put, hmm. nope, <laughs> more candy. Let's see if I can find more of those spider webs. There's another one. So maybe we can do another one. Whoops. One there. One down here. Okay, I like that. Um, where is these are also pretty thin stickers. can't get it off. Did it. I actually can't tell which side is the back. I was doing it the wrong way. <gasps> I 
That is so cute. I think I just got more ink on my face because I think it was on my hands and then I got it on my face. Almost. So that time that I said that I was getting better at stickers, apparently I jinxed myself because I am not better at these stickers. I'm gonna make sure I collect all of the clear backing because the cats will have a field day with them. if I can get this one off. Get it. Ooh, I like that. We'll add in some spider webs. Do I want to use these? Maybe I don't want to use these. Let's see what else I have. Oh, I know. Is it in this one? No. This one. There's like a gate or something. Like a fence? Yes. Maybe. Can we do that? How does that look? I don't think that looks bad. I kind of wish I remembered I had them. This is not going to come off. No. Okay. Maybe I can cut it down. Ooh, yes. Okay, let's do that. We'll cut it a little bit. So we'll cut like right about here. And I don't mind if it goes on the pumpkin a little bit. And then we'll save these and we'll use them somewhere else on the page maybe. It doesn't really look like a fence anymore, does it? Hmm. Thinking, thinking. That actually isn't too bad. Kind of looks like it's broken. Okay, we're going to try it. Sometimes things look weird, and then once I get them down, they look a little bit better. I'm not sure if this is, are these stickers? Did you establish that these were stickers? I don't remember. Oh yeah, they are. Okay. Don't need the sticky thing, the cor the correction tape, the uh, tape. But I think I do want to use my tweezers for this part, and let's like make it look crooked and broken. This is so cute. Definitely inspiring me to get back into my creative journal. So I basically use this, I just put stickers in it and I just get creative in it. Um, I don't do any writing in this journal, which is nice because I just feel like, you know, just to have that creative space is nice. Ooh, I like that. So pretty. I feel like it needs something up here, but I don't know what to put up there. So maybe we cut into this a little bit. Okay, I'm glad I did. Let's try this tree. Maybe we can stick it down and then cut it, or do we cut it and then stick it down? Let's stick it down and then cut it. Then right about there, because you know you have to have scary trees. It's Halloween. Do one there, and then we'll put this guy. Oh, I love that. Now, what would really be good is some bats. Hold on, we got them right here. We're gonna go back to the stamper and we'll put some bats in. Or are there bats in here? Let's see. 
Oh, I say that. It's kind of big, but it might be okay. We have like a straight, a straight post. That's not gonna work. This is so cool. We can create an entire seam with these things. Um, there's some smaller bats. A bat, a ghost, cauldron. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I guess I should have gone through all of these. <laughs> what else do we have in here? The houses we've already seen. Oh, there's another, you probably put like an owl or something on there. Cute. Um, let's see. Whoops, whoops. I'm not seeing. Not that bad. I don't know if I like this one with the face on it. Just because we already put faces on our pumpkins. So, cats. All right, we're going to go with this bat. Let's see if we can get these back in. Or do we like these bats? I don't know. I can't decide. All right, let's do, let's do, let's do the stamp. Why not? We've been having fun with that. I do feel like this other bat was a little too big. So we'll do, oh, we'll just do like a whole cluster of them. And we'll do them. I have some coming off the page too. That'd be cool. right there. I love it. Okay. And we'll do another small cluster of like little ones over here. I think that should be okay. Just getting some of these little guys. Move this in for a little bit. So cool. I also think um, I just found my new fun craft. <laughs> ah, I love that. And then we've got these little orange bats over here too. I feel like I want to do a couple like kind of going off the page. And I feel like we need some more in here. So we'll do a couple other little ones in here. Maybe we'll just kind of go with these two guys. They seem like they're a good size. Yes, I love that. And then I have a little bit of a bat over there, but that's okay. I feel like with like stamping, you can be a little messy and that's okay. And as I improve, I will get better. That just made no sense. I just realized what I said made no sense. As I keep practicing, I will get better. There we go. Progress, not perfection. And words in English are not my thing today, apparently. All right, I'm just going to put these back in here. I love that. So, and it's like, I always feel like, you know, when I craft, I don't know about you, but like my desk is like, whoa, girlfriend had a lot going on today. Um, but with these, they're nice because like everything has a place and I'm the person that everything like needs to have a place. I'm, I'm that person. Like I said to my kids, don't put it down, put it away. They love me for that. Okay. So I did want to show you, I was planning on doing something with these, but we didn't end up using them. But I wanted to show you, if you have blackout paper, how cool these would pop off. You get your ghosts and we've got some eyeballs. If you're into eyeballs <laughs> and some pumpkins. So now this isn't like all black. It's like a really dark paper, but like that looks cool like that. So it'll pop really well off there. Very excited for this spread. I'm excited to do more in my creative journal. And I'm glad that I decided I was going to pull out another journal. And I'm like, you know what? You have not been in your creative journal in a while. Why don't you pull it out? and start like sparking that again. And put that back in there. That came out so cute. I like that a lot. I like this, this is really cool. 
And then, I, again, I'm using a Heather's Planner Journal, so, like, these pages are pretty thick. I forget what the GSM is, but um, they're pretty thick. So, let me know down in the comments what your thoughts are on this. Let me know if you're thinking about picking up a grabby box, especially this Halloween one. I think it has everything you need, arts and crafts with your kids, or just, you know, whoa, scrapbooking about spooky season, whatever it is, just being creative in a journal and creating a fun scene. Um... You can do tons of things with all this stuff. So let me know if you're going to grab one. What are your thoughts? Like, what do you think you'd create with it? And let me know down in the comments below. Everything you need, all the information for the grabby box will be down in the description. Make sure you check that out. If you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to reach out to me. And I will answer you as best as I can. And um, if you are interested in subscribing to the channel, if you're into anything stationary, planners, Hobonichi, Sterling Inc., um paper stamps maybe we might be bringing stamps i don't know unboxings and all the things this is definitely the channel for you so hit subscribe and hit that bell notification because we are in planner season and there is a lot coming up that you're not going to want to miss um, and if you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up it helps the channel and we really appreciate it so thank you in advance oh <laughs> we also have a lot of fun here on the channel and um you know it's real life here on Planet Life with Erin. So <laughs> I hope if this is your first time seeing one of my videos, I hope you come back again. We'd love to have you. Um, also, if you'd like to give us a follow over on Instagram, we're Planning Life with Erin. We're having a blast over there. There's lots of reels and things um, over there happening. So definitely head on over and check us out. And I think that is going to do it for us today. So as always, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to come and plan with us. Um, I really appreciate it. I know we're all busy, so thank you. Thank you. And um, until I see you again, have a beautiful week and keep planning. Bye.